Throughout his trial and sentencing, the judges pointed out that Elior Azaria had not shown any remorse for the killing of Abd Fattah al-Sharif. The 21-year-old Palestinian was lying wounded in a street in Hebron last year after he tried to stab an Israeli soldier. The knife he was carrying is out of reach. Up to 10 minutes passed like this, then Azaria, without explanation, walked over to Sharif and shot him in the head. The terrorist was alive and he needs to die, 19-year-old Azaria later told his company commander. The military high command charged Azaria with murder and then reduced that to manslaughter. Handing down sentence today, Judge Maria Heller said that mitigating factors in the case were that the killing took place in hostile territory and the judge said she took note of the suffering of Azaria's family. 18 months in jail is half the minimum three-year sentence that the prosecution had asked for. Even this seemingly light jail sentence is too much for those on the right of Israeli politics who see Azaria as a hero. A few protested outside the military court in Tel Aviv. <laughs> Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, some members of his cabinet and other politicians have already said the soldier should be pardoned. By my point of view, every terrorist needs to finish every event with a bullet in his head. And when I say a thing like this, how can I not come and support the law of Zaria? I hope that today the court decided that he will go to jail. But I hope us, as politicians, as leaders, will do the right things and we will find a way to set them free. Al Sharif's family says the sentence is not just. It's theatrical, it's unjust, it's a play to shut us up. What's a year and a half? That time almost passed while he was in the military base. In the last 17 years, Israel's military police have opened 262 investigations into incidents where Palestinians have been killed. 17 led to indictment. Elior Azaria is the only one to be convicted. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Tel Aviv.